All right, what are we doing? Um, put this in your pocket somewhere. That's not what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna go get food, and we're gonna go interview people and uh, ask them what they think about the festival ending early, because this shit is insane. Oh yeah. Put this a little closer to me. We were supposed to what? Stay for like two two more days. It's two more days, right? Um, today and then tomorrow and then fuck off. Yeah. Okay. So two more days. Including yep. today. Yep, yep. Okay. This shit's wild. It's supposed to be a full day of festival today, full day of festival tomorrow, and then Exodus be Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Hopefully my shoes dry by the time we get back. Hey man, what do you think about the Eclipse Festival ending early? Do you mind if I film you? No, <laughs> oh, I know too much information. Do you do? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you mind if I film you? Here. They're okay with it. Awesome. If you guys have anything you want to say, this is your chance because it's all going on YouTube. Yeah, I don't mind at all. I mean, we were partying like hella hard the entire weekend, so like this is just like cutting us off early. It was a great eclipse at the very like at the very end, so it was just kind of like a good like good goodbye. So I can't be mad about it. That's cool. Yeah. That's good that you guys are happy about it. Yeah. Hell yeah. It is, it is what it is. You just kind of have to accept like, how things are really happen. Hell yeah. Sweet. We're going to keep moving. Sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. What did you guys find out? We're, uh, we're interviewing people about what they think about the festival ending sure. early. Do you, wanna, you have anything you want to say? I mean, first night, I had no idea what the fuck was going on here. <laughs> um, walked till 7 in the morning trying to find my camp. Uh, the rest of the days were pretty chill after I knew where to go. There Hell yeah. You go. Yeah. But I think this shit was wicked and wild. Straight up. Hell yeah. Wasn't it? I had fun. This was the wicked witch fest. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I got Hell a yeah. picture of the But I looked on Reddit, I heard that there were so many overdoses they couldn't get oh, to yeah. anywhere. I heard on Reddit there were so many overdoses they couldn't get anywhere uh, that the sheriff shut this bitch down. That's, really? That's yeah. Why. So that the sheriff shut insane. it down. The sheriff, not, not <laughs> that the actual. Insane. Yeah. My what? God. It wasn't the weather. Nope. Interesting. No, what weather? What weather? Yeah, what weather? <laughs> Interesting. I didn't see any overdoses I, though. I, like no, I didn't see any. I saw a dead dude, and he, they were pumping him and freaking Where out. Where was that? Uh, it was right by the camp post. It was by the uh, tents where they set him up. Glamping, I guess. Glamping. Yep. So it Those wasn't like in front tents? of the stage. No. Because we heard about a medical incident that happened in front of a stage. Yep. This was yeah. two night, two nights ago. Two nights ago, yep. not last night. No. Two nights ago. And there's a guy there yesterday that was on the ambulance too. Let me wait wow. for shadow. Well, half half of the people working here aren't even from here. They don't know the layout. And, you know, it gets tough. Yep. But hey, I had fun. Good, I'm glad. Hell yeah. I'd do it again. <laughs> Fuck yeah, so would we. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank right, you. Guys. Yeah, thank, thank you, man. It's about the festival right ending early. Strangers. Here, <laughs> pass this around. Anything you guys want to say about what you think of it ending early? Dude. We're, uh, we're interviewing people. What are your thoughts? Uh, it sucks, but it's good that we're getting a refund, and uh, we get to go home a bit early, so that's good. Did, did you hear how much the refund is going to be for? Is I have it, no idea. Maybe one day. One day? Yeah. They also did a pretty good job of emailing everybody early, so no one... Uh, Loaded up on their favorite party favors and then had to drive home. So that's good. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. We appreciate you guys. No Fuck yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Are you guys publishing this on YouTube? Or? Yeah, yeah. It'll all be on YouTube if you want my. It's VVVLF. So it spells wolf like. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's me on YouTube. VVVLF official channel is me. Sweet. Thanks, man. Hell yeah, man. And I got a bunch of the sets too, and they're all going to be on there. Oh my god. That's cool. She got the comic That's That's amazing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I can't believe her phone is able to pick that up. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. We had a great time. Yeah, we had. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Thank you, you guys. You guys got any thoughts you want to share about leaving early? Love you too, man. You guys, I'm making a video interviewing people about what they think of leaving early. Anybody got any thoughts they want to share? Leaving early. Here, think... Let's pass this around. Here's the microphone. Everybody, the it's the talking stick. Go ahead. Uh, I'm eating a croissant, but I think it's a little bit sus because the weather is totally fine and like, like 
It, he said it's Texas and they should be prepared for a little bit of rain. So I think this is, I think it's a little sus. I think there's like something else, like weather seems like not the actual reason right? why they're closing. Right? It's like a bad excuse. I'm staying tonight. I don't feel like driving. <laughs> Dude, right? Like, they, like, there's a lot of people that are spun out. It's straight up not safe for yeah, them to leave. Like, it's like, absolutely ridiculous what they have done, having all these people leave their resources. Like, call, I mean, this is savage. Yeah, I cannot believe that this is the way that this is being managed and handled. I have been working in festivals and productions for 20 years, oh, wow. and I've never seen something this mismanaged, this poorly designed, and this poorly executed. It was super fun for many people, and I'm glad that it happened, but I'm also highly disappointed in the culture around the just the trash and everyone's disrespect of the land and the property. Um, I was really blessed to meet the best friend of the owner of the property, and I got a real rundown of the four-year preparation that it took to get this property here to the state that this could be. And I am just really, I'm honestly blown away that this is... Texas deserved better. Texas deserved better. I think everybody deserved better. And I hope that this really puts a... I honestly hope this puts a stain on festival culture. Because this is bullshit. And this is unsustainable. And this is not what I worked 20 years of conscious festival development to have this be our legacy. I've actually been speaking out extremely vocally and aggressively against it. And uh, yeah, that's really how I feel about it all. And I'm not leaving early because we brought the sound system. So we can't leave. Yay. <laughs> but we will get out of here someday, somehow. And uh, yeah, I really hope that Texas loves us, even though this was savage. Yeah. Well said. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I am just like, I cannot believe. I actually am just really, I'm, I'm devastated. I'm devastated. Same, like, it, this This was a big expense for us. Like, it, we, we could barely afford it, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm blown away by by all of this. And I, and I think, especially with the state of the economy right now, I think especially with the state of the economy right now, that, like, most people could barely afford to do this. And people came out here really wanting and seeking a reprieve from the savagery of just life in general. Mm -hmm. And I... Coming here, I just walked 40 minutes to get over here, and I can tell you that I saw about two smiles on the hundreds of people that I walked by, and that is sad and tragic, and I really just, yeah, my prayer is that if anything comes out of this, that people see their shadow side, and they see the way that they can do better, and I, yeah, I just pray that, I pray that we all just can do better, because I know that we can. Yeah. 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 Yep. Thank you so much for yeah. what you're doing. Hey, really what's your it. name? Misty Fair. Misty Fair? Yeah. I'm Misty Wolf. Fair. Wolf. Nice, nice to meet you. Wolf. Yeah. We're making a video. Oh, I would like to stay. But, you, know. you want you want to say it in the microphone? You pass it around. <sighs> Is it rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. As in the microcosm, so in the <laughs> macrocosm. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Bless you guys. Uh, would you like to? Would you? Fuck this guy, Donnie, suck my dick. I here's, heard about that. Here's the mic. You guys can pass it around if you've if you got thoughts you want to share. I'm just sad. I need a second to gather mine for sure. Why the fuck did LS Dream not play? I know it's not because of the damn tornado. Dude, right? I'm so I'm so sad. That was percent chance my ass. Bro, I was so excited for Closey and LS Dream. Those are the two that I came for. We actually broke them. I'm really disappointed. We looked at the weather and it's 95% chance for nothing. Only 5% chance for tornado. I wish they would have at least waited and to see how the weather fared, at least until after the eclipse. We, we, there was a lot of love and light here, but there was also a lot of other stuff going on. Um, we just pre appreciate a better festival vibe for family and for friends, you know? Yup. Dude, well said. You got, you got more you want to say? Go ahead. Please pass it around. Why was there no EMTs at the dance safe? I seen somebody having a seizure at Subtronics and security was just standing around him and doing nothing, calling for EMTs. It took 45 minutes for somebody to get help from a heart attack on Friday. This is yeah, not cool. Yeah. Like, we're supposed to be able to rave here safely, plur, all that, but they don't give a fuck about the ravers for real. There was no Narcan on this site at all. Like, you had to bring your own. It's crazy. Wow. That's ridiculous, right? Wow. I was unaware of that. Yeah.
That's insane. That, it's insane. And they started refusing to give out water to people when when um we went up to the med tent and they refused water. It's like you know we're dehydrated. Really? Yeah. They had water? Yeah, they had water, and they said it was only for patients. Wow. Aren't we all your patients? Aren't you taking care of all of us? We are. Yeah. Well, and if you're having an incident where you're like, I am too dehydrated to get to the water, can I have some, please? Yeah. That's their job. I well, was the water actually started tasting really bad because yeah. of the heat, the dirt, and the plastic in the in the hydro pack. That, so, and I heard that they were using lake water. They were using lake water? I was we told that rumors, by uh, rumors. I didn't hear from staff mm -hmm. or anything, but fucking, it tasted like fucking lake water. Sure. Wow, wow, and so like the, there's there's a big mix of people who actually did come out here. You know the burners they're totally prepared for this kind of thing, but people who paid the money they uh, and they were not that kind of festival goers. You know they, they yeah expect, like the glampers yeah, yeah they, they see goers two suitcases and they weren't like prepared for it right. Yeah. You expect to be, you know, taken care of. And I heard the the artists didn't even have like the artists were told that they were going to be taken care of. They only got like one hundred and fifty dollars worth of like camping gear, from what I heard. Um, and they were just like not treated right. They they had like a food fifteen dollar food voucher wasn't wasn't even enough to cover like a slice of well a slice of pizza maybe. Slice of pizza was twelve dollars. <laughs> that was for the artists, as in like the people yeah, who performed. The, the, the performers, yeah. yeah. They were told they'd, they'd have they were food. supposed to come here and get. They said all food is included. They were gonna get glam glamping and all kinds of like extras. They didn't get shit. Wow. That's insane. Um, were any of you guys at the Oregon Eclipse? I was not. We had some friends there, but so, not not us personally. I was there at the Oregon Eclipse. They had, for everybody who worked at the festival and volunteered, and like if you worked in the festival in any capacity, they had like a giant mess hall that was like huge, like the size of a circus tent, huge, with like a buffet of every kind of food you could possibly imagine, including vegan and non vegan food, all like farm to table, fucking fresh, organic, unlimited, as much as you could eat. Yeah. And and it was it was amazing and I, I volunteered on one of the last days and I got to go in there and eat with people and I was out of money and hungry and it was like wow this is what a festival is like wow yeah. and this this whole good. thing has just been like a shameless money grab it has been it sounds like whoever you know whoever threw the last one really did care about their people that was the owner of symbiosis who died wow yup yeah, this, this was such a letdown in many ways. We had such high expectations. This was supposed to be such a magical, maybe even a, a trip of a lifetime for us. And you know, now it's like, there was some really great highlights, to be fair, but at the end of the day, this is probably one of the worst festival experiences I've ever had. Wow, and you've been to a lot of festivals? I have. There was still a lot of love here, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but. yeah, I had a great time as well, but the vibe felt off, you know? Like the whole time it's like, this isn't what symbiosis is supposed to be like. And I heard that symbiosis only built the sun stage. That was a thing as well. And, is that the people who were throwing secret dreams? Um, I'm not sure, but they throw symbiosis festival and they hosted the Oregon eclipse and their name was like huge on the flyer for this. So I assumed they were hosting this. They only hosted one stage. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I could tell that the Earth stage this year, I went to Oregon Eclipse too, and the Earth stage was kind of like lower budget. You could tell it was mm -hmm. kind of like country fair. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, dude, thank appreciate you guys. you guys. We appreciate you yeah, too, man. You yeah? Here's the microphone. What's up? What's up, man? What are you guys thinking? <laughs> well, uh, we spoke to a lot of people today. Uh, one of the guys was actually super cool, and he was saying how, because Obviously, there's a lot of distrust and authority, especially at events like this. You got you can go as deep as like Harp and CERN and all these you know control things. But like he was super cool, and he was saying he's meeting with like the city and the emergency people, saying that essentially they keep having meetings, watching the weather, and they weren't really worried about the rain. They were worried about hail and potential tornadoes because the guy who said it's been living in this area his whole life and they get like flash hail that can kill people if they're like in a super thin tent or out on the dance floor they last for like 15 minutes so that brought a lot of understanding to be like okay cool i i, I see their intentions like they seem pretty good you know mm -hmm. um and you know running a festival like this is not easy mm -hmm. and so you know obviously a lot of people wanted to stay and keep dancing and partying but the party goes on just somewhere else yep yeah Oh yeah, appreciate you guys. Yeah. What's now?
Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's a little unfortunate, but what can you do? It definitely, uh, I don't know, seems slightly auspicious. We got to be here for the eclipse at least, and we had clear skies for that, you know? But it's uh, probably better safe than sorry in a situation like this. We have so many people. And with this kind of landscape too, with this kind of clay, I could see a lot of people getting stuck if it did, you know, end up moist. So, slightly unfortunate, but it is what it is. And the rest of the weekend was a blast, so I feel like we squeezed enough in those days that we had to make up for the lack of one today. Could be worse, all things considered. Yep. So, yeah. Fuck yeah. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. You're not leaving? No. Hell yeah. I'm fucking leaving. Hell yeah. yeah Hell yeah, party on. We paid to be here. RV can't get picked up yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> yep. I, just, I, I felt safer, like, hunkering down here than trying to, like, get out on the road. I mean, I'm going to do an outfit. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's, so, that's... yeah, I mean, yeah, we're just going to ride it out. We got plenty of water and food and everything. And, I mean, the storm keeps, like, clearing and passing. Fuck yeah. We got we got movies and pasta dinner waiting on us in the RV if we need to. So. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, party on. Yeah, right on. Party you know on. Saying? Yep. Cool, let's see you out there. Yep. What is that? Yeah, man. We're I'm sparked, waiting for the dark to hit. Cause once the moon gets above my apartment, I catch fits for starting shit. I'm smart with it. I give it that special touch when I push it. Cause I'm also a label rep, and I can't allow no bullshit. So shush, kid, shush, baby, shut your eyes. Lay your head back, shed the fear, and let the tears crystallize. I wish the flies to land upon your forehead when I extract the essence from your head and leave your body wrestling in more head. I've left more dead reputations than HIV can. But for every killing, there's a reason, and it's not just MCs, man. I'm watching C SPAN, waiting for the first state rep to take the first step to have me killed off to make this world. Perfect. Well, let's get shit right, right here, right now, right away. Atmosphere, motherfucker. If I need to, I can fly away. I'll grind you and your weak crew into beef stew. Serve you with seafood. You can't cloud my vision, cause you're seafood. You need to recognize the size of the atmosphere. You ain't tall as half this math is past what you practice. I receive, you can't fuck with my tactics, you bastards. That's why you breathe fast, bitch. No need to ask. We dug the fingernails underneath the skin of your scalp and peeled it. Sent you underdeveloped preschool style on a field trip. Now bite your tongue. This is how the mic gets started. A whole tree to pick some fruit from, man. You had to choose the ripest one. That's it, it all comes from inside. And how you ride the sound wire when it's live and the vibes feeling right. Catching the motion given by rhythms when you hit them on time with lines, making sure your rhymes sounding tight. Your voices should travel without the babble of the average MC. So listen, please, use discretion when you breathe. Sound is vibration, I choose to use it with the vision. And then comes the style and precision. No more longer will we hold your hand. Why? Cause you're too damn old. Oh, yeah, the network's called. They told me to tell you, you. You've been cancelled They also said big up for all the support Thanks to your devotion They now control the world So let your head down And eat the poison with the tall glass of tang I'm rising past the bank With a smile I flash my fangs I tumble over some Cause some I don't overstand I got the plot from spawn From now on I know the plan It's the noise it makes That generates the passion I have It's the void it breaks That stimulates when mics get grabbed It takes shape escapes From these vocal cords I have Atmosphere Music makers from the rhyme say it's last Come now Ufi Kwan test the giants when we apply this vice grips to your eyelids To make you read the fine print The tyrants, they gave you crisis, left you silence Don't breathe a sigh of relief till you hear the rescue sirens Supreme, be this team, we got this shit on lock RSC, we hit the key under an upscale rock So you can knock all you want to, but you ain't getting in Now you can try to crash the door, but you ain't getting in Nigga, what? My definition is raw I got you all wishing I'd fall So things could get better for y'all But I'm tall and got game Remain the same for the duration Area code 612, my presence Atmosphere, embellished with talent and the wisdom not to abuse it Blessed with insight, friends and influences That's what keeps us dope, what makes us dope is the surroundings Inspiration stems from love and stress compounding Stamina, that's achieved over the course of time In fact, time taught me how to breathe, battle, not to cork my mind Defined as lyricist, the atmosphere assists Making sure y'all fear this shit every time you hear this shit Sound is vibration, this sound is taken Sound is vibration, and the ground is shaking Vibration is sound, yo we found your replacement Vibration is sound, now who makes the sound? And who makes the music? 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 And who makes the music?
I seen you smoking cigarettes again. Well, me too. You popping pills, I get me medicine. I cannot blame you. Ooh, I'm doing fucking good. I'm glad you asked me. Can't look me in the eyes when you walk past me. Damn, that's kind of fucked up. So I can't text you. I think you blocked my number. I know we got through everything. So that should make me wonder do you trust yourself to text me if you had the will? Damn, from me to you, I know your shit ain't real. <laughs> yeah, look at the way. All of the game, shit that you play I look at your face, all of it's fake I'm sick of the bullshit You can't guilt trip, this can't talk about shit uh, You get left red, why you think that you get dick? <laughs> Fuck no baby, I don't forgive you about all that other shit You want some other shit Look who's laughing now Ever since you found out that I'm in love with this And I can't trust another bitch Fuck no baby, I don't forgive you about all that other shit Shit. You want some other shit Look who's laughing now Ever since you found out That I'm in love with this And I can trust another bitch Maybe if you closed your eyes You'd realize that you are such an asshole All the times I tried to be so careful Tiptoeing on eggshells You played dirty I bought for breeze Made it all clean Washed you up a memory You saw an empath He told you about your past You said, well, what about my future? Can I make it last? He said, you're rich by the time you're 24 But you're gonna be alone Sad, begging at her door Oops, so oh, it hurts you To see me well After all the things you put me through I'm in your head And you can't fight that and I don't want that I hope to stay inside your heart just like an artifact And give some value to your art Baby, make it last If you try to come back You know that's a fact Fuck no but mama always told me, life's a gamble I'm picking up all of the pieces, my life's in fucking shambles Ever since you fucked up and fucked all of my best friends Told me that you love me, cause I was too obsessed then But look who's laughing Bitch, I'm up now, was down in the dumps Getting my head straight and my feet back on the ground Way too pessimistic, but I know it's a messy ending When you always come back around Flip-flapping, tick-tock and wasting time For the guy that you're getting by like Look at the way all of the game, shit that you play I look at your face, all of it's fake I'm sick of the bullshit You can't guilt trip, this can't talk about shit uh, You get left red, why you think that you get dick? Fuck no baby, I don't forgive you about all that other shit You want some other shit Look who's laughing now Ever since you found out that I'm in love with this And I can trust another bitch Fuck no baby, I don't forgive you about all that other shit You want some other shit Look who's laughing now Ever since you found out that I'm in love with this And I can trust another bitch Okay, so this message just came in on Reddit I uh, wasn't planning on making this video right now, but this is fucking crazy. This is like the most like heartfelt account of what went down that I've seen, and also like an eyewitness account. So I'm gonna read this one on video. So here it is. This is this is the message. I would love to do a video interview. My friend and I were at the Hemp Hats booth in between the bar and the Texas Horn seat car. I didn't even notice what happened at first. I turned around and she was gone. I was having the best time of my life, feeling so good, so happy, and within seconds, darkness swept over me, froze me in my tracks. I couldn't move, I couldn't see her, but I could feel something present. Suddenly, she came out of the crowd, mortified. I was asking, where did you go? She disappeared for 10 to 15 minutes. She said someone came running to the hat stand, screaming, we need a medic. This guy is having a seizure. She went to help. He wasn't breathing. Full-blown seizure. Airways were pinched. His neck was not positioned in a way he could breathe. He wasn't breathing for who knows how long. Fully locked up. She said he died in her arms. Nobody else knew what to do. Everyone was standing there staring. It took over 30 minutes for Red Shirt Medic to arrive. They didn't know what to do either. The black coats came later. We got into a panic and separated in the chaos. I went back to see if she was still there. She was gone and there were two more bodies. There were like 12 medics in black, three on each leg and 
three on each arm, one giving chest compressions, one on the head, mouth to mouth, whole nine yards. I couldn't handle the darkness surrounding me. Everything in my being said, go. I need to get out of here. I was not safe. Walking out, I saw the first guy that she tried helping on the back of a cart like a maintenance looking cart. It was not big enough for the body in the back. He looked lifeless, legs hanging out of the back. Nobody was back there with him, just bags and tools and stuff. He was bouncing around, most likely still not breathing. I couldn't escape it. It felt like a soul harvest. As I was walking in the other entrance by the moon stage in Renegade, I saw another girl in need of help, and she wasn't getting the assistance she needed either. It was a mass confusion. Nobody knew where the camp was. Nobody knew where their camp was. Where is their stuff? The bathrooms, water. We got there super early, entry, and tried to map out the fest, but the day of the fest was different and more was blocked off. You'd walk miles just to get even more lost as the map wasn't accurate, the shuttles weren't promised. Everyone was intoxicated and lost, desperate to seek help, guidance, and it seemed impossible. It had a lot of beauties and pleasant experience, but there was so much darkness moving around through people at the same time. I heard people were getting sick from the lake, the water. I don't know how true it is. Holy fuck. So yeah, that just came in, and I'll be doing a video interview with this person, so... I straight up wonder, like, speaking of people getting sick from the water, I was thinking about this, like, 30 minutes ago. How many people are going to end up dead in, like, four days from rain eating a bebo? Dude, right? Because those are in Texas. Mm -hmm. Like, in that region. Dude, right? Jesus fucking Christ, man. That's why we didn't go swimming. Yep. This, we were concerned that the water might have brain-eating amoebas, and it didn't seem like the festival was responsible, and it didn't seem like they had tested for it. You know? So, I didn't trust it, and I didn't want my dog to drink it, and etc. And, yeah, there was lead all over the ground. It's an FBI, DEA, ATF gun training ground. Millions of rounds are fired there every year. I learned that from security. You know, so we were all exposed to fucking lead. In a big way. Yeah. Like an hour ago, I was on the phone with a buddy of mine who was in the National Guard for seven years and was a sergeant. And we talked to him like, hey, so you know how one day we were chatting it up and you personally, as a guardsman, go through over half a million rounds a year in training. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, this site was literally a DEA, a ATF, FBI training facility. Tens of millions of rounds fired into those hills every year. In the first two days, the roads were not watered, and it was a complete dust bowl. He did not skip a beat in saying, oh, fuck, that dust is 100% just pure toxin at this point. Yeah. So, don't be surprised if a bunch of people at this festival get cancer in ten years. Yup. This is just so insane. Mm -hmm. Like, so insane. So anyway, this video will be on YouTube by itself as like a standalone video, but this will also be in the documentary, because this is just so fucking crazy. And definitely follow my channel, subscribe, reach out to me if you had an experience that you want people to know about. I'll post it on my channel. I'm doing everything I can to get the word out and I'm being viciously attacked for it so to those of you that this matters to like please like know that I appreciate you and please like appreciate me back because this is fucking hard for me like I'm tearing up over this like I've been viciously attacked for the past 30 fucking hours while I'm trying to get the word out about this and yeah I need all the support that I can get this shit is fucking hard and a lot of people are traumatized, and this was just really fucked up, and none of us signed up for this, it's not fair, and I'm not a bad guy, like, I'm a really fucking sweet dude, so, if you were negative, negatively affected by this festival, god, I'm fucking crying, please reach out to me, I will do everything that I can to sincerely represent you, and to make you heard because this shit is wrong fuck I can't stop crying like it's just so fucking wrong so yeah it's supposed to be one of the most sacred events of our fucking life it was it happened on our fucking dead grandpa's 104th birthday this was so special to me 
and it was so special to so many more people. And I'm driving home now, and I'm worried my dog has been a, a, my service dog. That's a, that's a real service dog who detected someone's fucking seizure at the festival. Thank you. Saved a person's fucking life. My dog. I've been attacked viciously over that, too. Everyone's like, I can't believe you would bring your dog to a festival. Well, you're lucky I did. She saved a girl's fucking life. So oh. that happened. And... Yeah, it's just really fucked up what I witnessed. I didn't want to witness it. I didn't intend to witness it. I intended to come to this festival and to film a documentary about the most sacred event of my life. And then I intended to give it to the festival so that they could use it to promote themselves. I spent thousands of dollars on this and it was not fucking easy for me. I recently survived a near fatal car accident. I spent the insurance money from my car to pay to film this. Every single cent that I got for my car, I spent on camera gear. And I did this for you guys. And it was not fucking easy for me. I, I literally almost died. My spleen was removed. I was in bed for eight weeks. And I made it to this festival. I healed just in time to be able to go to this festival. And this is what I witnessed. And I'm not a liar. I have it on film. I recorded five fucking terabytes. So yeah, if you've had a negative experience, please reach out to me. It needs to be heard about. If you have had a positive experience, please reach out to me so that we can show that our community is strong and that we are the reason that anyone was able to have fun at this festival. It's because good people go to this festival and we're the thing that makes it special so just understand in this video I represent you and you represent all of us and yeah please reach out to me because this is a message that matters and people need to hear about it so I'm gonna end the video here because I'm literally fucking crying but yeah I love all of you everyone who came to the eclipse you all matter so much to me Deuces. I'm Wolf, by the way. VVVLF. That's my channel on YouTube. It spells Wolf all fucked up. So, yeah, follow my channel. Follow me on Instagram. If you do your digging, you'll see me on Reddit. You'll see me on Instagram. You'll see me on YouTube. I'm really easy to find. If you drop a comment, I will respond. If you send me a message, I will respond. So far, I have over 20 interviews booked. And... This is probably going to turn into, like, a whole docu-series. Like, there is enough material here for over 10 episodes already. And I haven't even done all of these interviews. I've only done the ones at the festival. So, yeah, please reach out to me. I love all of you. Peace.